And hello everyone, welcome to a new series I'm going to hopefully actually stick with, maybe, um, Sunriser, which is currently in beta, I think, I think it's 4.2 right now, but it looks kind of interesting and I wanted to give it a try and, well, yeah. Story takes place as we live today. A different reminiscent if God English. A different universe reminiscent but vastly different from our own. Okay, so basically yeah, controls, that's good. Humanity is spread to the four corners of the galaxy. Hmm. But what if the galaxy is a circle? It doesn't have corners. Subjugating all life, we have become the dominant species throughout the stars. Well, of course we have. Yet we are far from secure. Let me guess, we started fighting with amongst each other. Well, yep. War brews from the northern quadrant of the galaxy. Ah, I guess PAC. The People's Alliance has toppled the once mighty new empire. Led by a mysterious individual known as Venisar Arcadius Paxi, subjugant the galaxy under its new world order. Worlds? Would it be new worlds? I don't know. Distant from the brewing clouds of war, the neutral world of Sarah seems quite safe. From the approaching packed war machine, it is on this world where our journey begins. Captain Kato Shields looked out from the window of his orbital structure. Below him, he could see the glittering orb that it was home to Sarah. Beyond it, a vast sea of stars stretched on for as far as his eyes could see. His name is Shields? Like, like, like shield shields. Oh, yeah, that means it's kind of obnoxious. Hold on a second. Wow, it doesn't change at all when I do that. Uh huh. Shields leaned forward on his seat and spoke to his pilot. The pilot was obscured by his seat, and Shields could only hear his blur. His burly voice humming to the tiny radio. How much further till we get there? Just a moment now. Can't wait to see your girl, can you, sir? I haven't seen Ava since we were in high school. I doubt she even remembers me. Okay. The commander? Psh, not her. I mean, the Sunrider, the newest ship in the fleet. Ah, <laughs> uh, respect, people. Here, let me turn the ship around and give you a view. Ooh. I like. So apparently this is a sci-fi like space adventure game. I only looked at it for about five minutes. I didn't really want to go into this knowing what happens or anything. Just blind. Some writer. If this isn't Earth, then why is the sun called? Ah, not the question. Shields laid against this. That's gonna bother me though. The main character being Shields. Shields says Shields up. That's just weird. Shields leans against his window. His late night is out of the sun. Colossal in size, but sleek looking. Shields found her to his liking. The behemoth vessel stuck a deadly image like a poised arrow headed at the ready. I see. I. There, have a look at her. So advanced that the brass needed to train a new line of officers to fly her. She looks like a fine vessel. Just hang tight, Captain. We won't be long now. Where is the like docking port on that thing? Okay, so there's guns here. That looks like some sort of laser. Two guns here. Bridge. Very exposed bridge. You just could blast the top of this off and find. I guess solar panel engines. But like, I don't see. Is that the dock? That must be the dock right there. The shuttle continued its docking approach. Shields sat tight as the shuttle neared the Sunrider and docked. Ooh. After exiting the shuttle, Shields walked through the airlock and entered the Sunrider's haven. Captain on deck. Wait, is there supposed to be voices for this? Did I turn them off completely? <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. Welcome aboard, Captain. First Officer Abel, Chris, 
being uh, reporting for duty. Hmm. Well, I mean, if we've been friends, we might as well say it's been a while, eh? Same to you, uh, Captain. So I guess... We'll be friends? Like, what's going on here? Is, he supposed to, is this supposed to be doing this? I hope so. The last time we saw each other was at your graduation in high school. I'd never, I didn't ever dream that I'd become your commanding officer. Did you? Neither did I. She just looks very grumpy. Hmm. I really don't know if they were friends or not. Uh, I guess things haven't changed since then. I agree. The airport of the Sunrider's status. We've been working on been working for the past two weeks, sir, testing her systems. She's prepping to go on your word, sir. Good. It sounds like High Command wants us here, out of here with so Sophie. Let's tell me more about this. She's the newest ship in the fleet. She's armed like a warship, but built like a carrier. We can field up to 12 riders. And are those mechs? We can ride mechs? And also provide capital ship support for them. Her biggest asset is the Vanguard Cannon. They took a gun from a battleship cl ship class warship, modified it extensively, and put it on top of her ship. <laughs> they put a giant freaking thing on top of the little tiny ship. Still, it works like a charm. It can rip holes through ships over twice. Holy crap. That's a big gun. Not only that, but the Survivor can be flown with just a crew of just 50 and has just the most effective warp drives in the fleet. We will jump across the galaxy in just days. That's handy. Sounds like a flying vessel. This orange alert? Don't tell me you don't know. Ryan Dar surrendered to Pat just this morning. Alrighty, that's another neutral that's- Oh great, our world's gonna be attacked by Pact. Not only that, but Pact has been taking Minerva, Verona, and Geralt. Gerald? Geralt. Not good with reading. In the past three months, one who drew planet after another, what do you think that means? Encirclement for next. Exactly, so that's why High Council is not taking any risk. If any high steadily show up, enter our gravity well, we're, we're to open fire and ask the questions later. Well, okay then. First, a tour of the ship. Oh, good. As you notice, this is the Sunrider's hangar. We can store up the 12 riders here. I don't see any riders. Where are they now? We'll proceed them into Wednesday. Once they're here, though, we'll be able to access them and order equipment changes here. This is an interactive map of the Sunrider you can use with the navigator on the ship. We're going to head up to the bridge up above us on deck one. You try using the map to navigate there. Make sure you click on deck one tab first. Mm. So is he like just looking at it like a GUI on his like tablet and he's like, I want to go here. Okay, so literally deck two is just the hangar bay and the control tower. And two airlocks. Deck one is her, the bridge, engineering, research, development. Oh, deck... uh, wait. Wouldn't that be like deck zero, like the top? Uh, captain's quarters, sick bay, mess hall, first officer's quarters, so that's her. Ooh. Next to each other. Crew quarters, crew quarters. Wait. Oh, that's that's, that's kind of cute. She's got a little anger thing right here. She's grumpy. He's grumpy right here. This is the Sunrider's main bridge. This is where you'll be commanding the ship. That's a pretty fancy star map in the middle. You can use that star map to follow our course and warp to the other systems. I'll also usually be here if you ever need me. Did the screen just shake there slightly? This is engineering. The ship's main reactor is located here. We can also use the lab to research and construct new equipment. Unfortunately, the research lab is not open yet. That's also going to be available on Wednesday? Correct. I have to wait. Wait, where'd she go? Is she up here? Oh, yep, that's all. This is a shift mess hall. We can come down here and to eat and relax after work. Hmm. After the battle, I gotta rest up and eat. Sounds good to me. Oh, my my room. Ooh, fancy. I have a bad feeling I could just instantly die if a laser or something hit that. Finally, I mean, like this is probably face 
if I remember the layout right, that was facing the front. That's like gonna get obliterated. I mean, I'd say. Finally, these are your personal quarters. Now it looks like I've moved up in life. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's almost like a loft in Surrey City. What are these chairs? Not bad. Oof. Like, ow. They're so rigid. Oof. Look, we're back. Please don't mess up your room too much, Captain. How much to mess up? Wait, is the shower right there? That's kind of different. I've already got some ideas that are redecorated. I like Kato. You can come here to access your personal logs on our material. Furthermore, if a member of your crew needs your help with something, they'll be waiting outside of your door. You can use your map to walk around the ship. You'll in you're encouraged to interact with your crewmates whenever possible. A right, a happy ship is as big for a strong ship. That's true. And that concludes our tour. Like I said, I'll be in the bridge most of the time, so you can come to me if you need help. What's next? I'm afraid we have to cut formalities short, Captain, and like I said, Commander wants us out of the dry dock as soon as possible. We are scheduled for our first live engine test. We'll be sailing port shortly, making one loop around the moon. Ooh, that's cool. Fine with me, let's return to the bridge and show what the Sunriders capable of. All hands is your captain speaking. Command your stations! Ooh, epic music too. Activate the main reactor and light the engines. Which one takes Stargate slowly? Momentarily we'll begin a live test of our engines by sailing port and making one round to the moon. I'm kinda worried that the music's deafening. Just Sorry people if this annoys you, but I just I don't wanna be over talked so. Why isn't there any voice though? It's kinda bothersome. We are to enter Orange Road as soon as we clear poor raise shields this game for any possible hostilities. I know this is just a test, but keep your guard up. I want everyone to be up on their feet in case we run into any problems. Main reactor coming. Awake, Captain. Power is increasing. Wake up, Our Lady Ava. We're getting out of here. Aye, sir. Helm seat lights the engines. Engineers are reporting reactor is working with inverters. Power is increasing to the engines. Blast off at three, two. Ugh. <laughs> what the hell is that? Checking status. Engineering's are reporting reactor core so stable, no explosions reported in either deck zero or two. Captain, the only place the blast would have come from is is outside. Outside is in contact. Pack warp signature. Am I supposed to be saying P A C T or packed? Like. I don't know. What? Missile boats, they jumped in right under our noses. Red alert, cancel the engine test. Hi, Captain. All hands, battle stations. This is not a drill. Ooh. This is turning out to be one hell of a maiden fight. Ava, what's our weapon status? Limited. The Vanguard cannon is still offline. We have flak cannon, flak turrets, saviors, and a few shots of hell weapons. Captain, you're not seriously thinking you take this surrender in battle, are you? We haven't completed any of our engine tests, much less any munitions checks. No time like the present, Ava. <laughs> and then from the sounds of things, I don't think Pact is going to wait for us to finish our tests. Get the ship operational double time. Aye, sir. Helm's deep. Helm's deep. Wow. All power is to the engines. Ooh. Looks kind of small. The enemy missile for gate took aim at Sunrider. Captain Shield gritted his teeth as the Sunrider's engine sparked back to life painfully slowly. Wow, that's a lot of missiles. Oh my. Simultaneously, as the frigate launched the Sorrow missile, the Sunrider engine ordered a life torch in the ship forward. The missile struck the die dock supports easily as the Sunrider flew out of the resulting fireball behind it. A dry rock collapsed into steel. In the chaos of steel and fire. Captain Shields <laughs> breathed a sigh of relief while Ava just utterly looked under, utterly unaffected by the peril that they were just in. She means business. We're in the clear. Sunrider is joining the fight. There's other people? Where? Fire weapons, take these bastards out. Ooh. 
Welcome to the tactical screen, Captain. From here, you can issue short orders to the crew during battle. In our front, you see the battle grid. This grid shows where friendlies and enemies are positioned on the battlefield. You may click and drag the left mouse to move the camera around the battle grid. Furthermore, you can use the mouse wheel to move. Oop! Shit. I just scrolled. I guess it's just error. Yes, Captain. Without your voice, I like that voice. Uh, I have one missile. All missiles free! Those voices though. And I will. The enemy has taken damage. I wanna like you, Ava. Assault oh, I'll finish these guys off. It's hopeless? I mean it's hopeless. Nothing's ever hopeless. I'm gonna Awaiting orders. All ahead, full. It's hopeless. Okay, then I guess I'll move forward. Even forward. More. And end my turn. Oh, great. That's a lot of missiles. Brace for impact. It's kind of still laggy. Our hull is holding. Well, that's that's good. This is still pretty good shit. Okay, so they're moving forward, they're firing. Why is it so laggy? Ooh. Our hull is beginning to fracture! Fracture? That's that's not good. Issue your command. Let's blast the crap out of these guys. Fire point defense guns! Ooh. The attack is successful! Not very effective. Well, I'll just blast these guys. Charge Trinities! Fire! Ooh, jeez! It missed. Attack unsuccessful. Great. I'm bad feeling about this. Our hull is beginning to fracture! Oh. I hope that's not like. Our hull is beginning to fracture! That's kind of actually annoying to hear. Maybe some... I'm going to turn her voice down slightly. All systems are green. Main guns... I will try and fire. Commencing fire! Come on, hit! Confirmed hit! That's it? That's all it did? Oh. Fire this. black. Take them out. Haha! Success! Confirmed hit! Negative 28. Whew! Jeez. That was unnecessary. <laughs> Just. <laughs> These guys only have missiles. Ooh. Hull breaches on deck zero. Deck zero. That isn't that the deck we're on. Pretty cool. But I don't think I can do any of that. Issue your command. I'm gonna move forward. Engage the enemy face and then destroy them. Fire. How do they arc we that have laser? The enemy. Yeah, we have. Our systems are catastrophically failing one by one. <sighs> oh boy. 
<laughs> that sucks. Um. Awaiting orders. Well, we're gonna test out these things. Initiating shots at all. Ooh. The enemy has taken damage. Yeah. Victory. You need to finish. How much money did I get? Ooh, so I guess those things lets me do the super things. Our forces are pushing back the remaining pack units. Back. I'm reading this wrong. The pack for gates are no longer a threat. Join the rest of the fleet. Let's pinch in and mop up the uh, mop up operation. I right, captain. Two missile brigades down with hardly a scratch. Not bad for my first command, huh, Ava? <laughs> She's smiling. See right there. That's that's a, a hint of a smile. Charge of the Trinities again. Let's give the rest of those missile brigades a party gift before they whip out of Sarah. All right, Captain. Charge and Trinities. They must have been trying to warp in missile brigades to take out ships before we could respond. Given how smack small the attacking force was, though, I say the entire operation was a Alert new context on scanner. More Mr. Brigades? No, it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Okay, nothing. That's not bad. Oh. Um. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, that's... Is she blushing? <laughs> oh my god, she is. Why is she blushing? That makes no sense at this time. Sweet mother of god. What is that thing, Ava? I don't remember Pax having anything like Colossal. I guess getting intel from HQ is the Pax Super Dreadnought Class Warship Legion. Over three kilometers. Three kilometers? That's a big ship. Armed with enough guns to take down a fleet three times our size by itself, the thing's vessel are. I'm just not. I'm gonna call him Arcadius, his personal flagship. HQ has issued a general retreat. All units to fall back. The Prime Minister's office has been advised to issue a media unconditional surrender. Retreat? It's already over? Warning, I'm detecting massive power charge coming from me. Wait, brace for impacts. How do miss lasers arc like that? Holy crap. What disgusting firepower. Battleships Galant and Bohemian Maiden have been sunk to fearless, sustained severe damage. Hull breaches reported on Section 34A are point triggers no longer operative. Break away, the ship doesn't ever stand a chance against that. The warship is power it's powering its weapons again. Oh boy. Where is it firing? Oh. Holy crap. Bro Poor. The warship nukes Sarah City with that last shot. I'm still trying to figure the scope of damage, but unbelievable. The use weapon of that magnitude on a civilian target. More than a million casualties have been lost. All contact with our civilian military leadership. The rest of the Sarah Space Force is scattered. We're going to move alone so we don't get out of here. What are your orders, Captain? Captain! The surrender began to pound as more enemies arrived. The shields wiped his sweat off his brows and saw that his hand was soaked. The panic wasn't coming from the enemy, it was his own heart. Fall back. Fall back. Port to the air safe harbor. Understood. Navigator. Punch in the fallback coordinates into the computer. Spool up the warp drive and prepare to jump. Shields took a final look at his burning home world. That wasn't the end. Well, this wasn't the end. He was going to be back no matter the cost. We're about in three. Two. Is that shields? It's pretty cool looking. Warp. Ooh. I like that sound. And I guess that's the start of the game. That was interesting. And all sound just died. Okay, well, I'm going to end this part here. It's a pretty long beginning part. Um, thank you all for. What the fuck is that? 
watching. <laughs>